Here is an overview of the Quickly Accordion block. An accordion is a musical instrument with dulcet tones. However, in web design, an accordion is a type of menu that displays a list of headers stacked on top of each other. When clicked on by the user, the headers reveal associated content. You're very likely to have already come across them in a website's FAQ, or Frequently Asked Questions, section, since it's an efficient way to organize questions without crowding the user's viewport. In Quickly, you have the possibility to build accordions in two distinct ways, using interactions or the accordion block. With interactions, you have full control on your accordion, since you build its structure from scratch using divs, headings, etc., and manually set up your accordion's interactions. On the other hand, with the accordion block, forget about setting up your own interactions every time you want an accordion, which are automatically handled by Quickly, and focus on the design. The idea is that you remain in the driving seat, since you can still exactly decide what and how your accordion works and which blocks it contains, without having to repeatedly dive into the interactions panel. It is essentially a way to speed up your workflow without losing any design power, and makes designing accordions that much more efficient. The way it works is, once the accordion block is added in the Gutenberg editor, an accordion header and content are automatically provided, which you can see in the Quickly Navigator. By default, both the accordion header and content contain a heading and paragraph, which allows you to visually see the accordion in the editor. However, they can of course be removed and replaced by any other block you desire. What's even better is, you can see in real time in the editor without any interaction or styling required, that once the accordion's header is clicked on, the content appears. Before we build pleasant looking accordions, we must cover an essential block that can be used in parallel to the accordion block. I'm of course talking about the accordion's block, not to be confused with the accordion block. The accordion's block not only allows you to contain all your accordions in one same place, but allows you to set controls for all the accordion blocks it contains from a single place, the Settings tab. For example, if I want four accordion blocks to be linked, instead of having to link every single one of them from the individual Settings tab, I can simply place them all in the accordions block and link them from there in one click. We will now move on to designing this block, but if you'd like to skip ahead and see the settings tab and how it works, skip along to the timestamp in the video. We can start by adding an accordions block. We don't need to add an accordion block, since by default an accordions block contains one. Before we start styling, we can observe that both the accordions and accordion blocks have the exact same settings tab. We will explore in more detail this panel after having styled the accordion blocks for you to more effectively see the different settings in action. Let's start by setting flex directions for both our accordions and accordion blocks, since by default they are set in a row direction, which isn't ideal for this design. So in both these blocks, in the Layout tab, we can set a column direction. As a reminder, when we talk about flex direction, we're talking about the sub-property of the flexible box layout module. It establishes the main axis, thus defining the direction flex items are placed in the flex container. The default flex direction is row, which follows the same direction as text, thus elements are placed next to each other, whereas the column direction is opposite to text direction, thus elements are placed on top of each other. In the accordion block, in the advanced tab in the borders panel, I will add a left border for a more stylized look that will grow and shrink according to whether the content is visible or not. Let's now style the accordion's header. First, I will set a more appropriate font size to the heading and change it for an H2 heading. Next, selecting the actual header in the Spacing tab, 
I will add an equal 30 pixel padding to make the clickable area bigger for users. As a reminder, padding creates spacing around an element's content inside of any defined borders. Conversely, margin creates space between block elements. We can add a narrow icon block, which can help users know that this block is indeed an accordion that can be actioned. However, as you can see, you can add about any block you wish. Before we style it, in the Layout tab, I will set Center as well as the Space Between property, which will evenly distribute my heading and icon in the line by setting them at the start and end of the line. The Space Between property is not to be confused with the Space Around property, which does evenly distribute elements but with equal spacing around them. I will quickly style my icon. And just like that, our accordion header is finished. We can now attack our accordion's content. We can keep the paragraph given by default. However, since we will be adding padding to create more spacing with the edges of the accordion block, we will need to wrap it in a div. We can swiftly do this by opening up the Quickly Navigator and selecting our paragraph. Here, we can right-click on it, which opens up the context menu. We can head to the Wrap option and select Div. We're wrapping our paragraph in a div since we will be adding some padding for a spaced out look. You might think, well why not just set the padding on the accordion content? However, we advise against setting it on the accordion content because it mucks up the way the front end script measures the content height. In the spacing tab, we can already set some padding. In the layout tab, I will set a column direction as well as flex start since I will be adding another block to this div. I will quickly style my paragraph. I will now add a button and style it. And there we go, we have finished building this accordion, which is simple but efficient. Let's see it in action on the front end. As you can see, our accordion works as intended, without us having to set up any interaction whatsoever. However, we can add a bit of spice to this block by having a background color appear as well as have the icon slightly rotate when the content is open. We can simply do this with a bit of relative styling. Selecting the accordion block, we can add a relative style by selecting the plus symbol in the primary tab and then open its rules. We can give it a familiar name, leave the combinator, set the selector type to class and type in CC Accordion Active. Basically, this means that when the CC Accordion Active class is added to your accordion, which it is when the accordion opens, then our styling will be applied to this accordion block. In the relative styling editor, I will simply be setting a pale blue background color. However, you can go even further and complex since you have at your disposal all the advanced properties you could possibly need. Exiting the relative styling editor, we can add another relative styling, this time for our icon block to be rotated slightly once your accordion is opened. In the rules editor, we can set the same rule we had set for our previous style. However, we will need to add another so that our styling targets the icon block instead of the accordion block. So we can set the combinator to descendant, sector type to class, and paste in our icon's class name, which I will swiftly get by opening the navigator and context menu. In the Relative Stylings Editor, since I want this icon to rotate, we can simply open the Transforms panel and toggle the Rotate property, 
where we can set a 90 degree rotate. Exiting from the relative styling editor, we can observe that now when we open and close our accordion, our styles are being applied. We can check this out on the front end. Opening and closing the accordion is made fun thanks to our styling. However, it doesn't appear very smoothly or look pleasing when it opens and closes, which you can of course tweak in the settings tab. Back in the editor, in the accordion blocks settings tab, we can set a transition duration. As you can see on the front end, it looks smooth and appealing now. Now we can add five more of this accordion to the accordions block by linking them together. The quickly linking feature allows you to have one main block that controls the style of other blocks. As you can see, the styles of my first accordion are linked to my newly added ones. And if I tweak my first accordion's background color or border, our new accordion blocks take on the new style seamlessly. It's a great time saver feature. I will quickly fill them in. Let's see this on the front end. Every accordion works as intended. However, our first accordion is the only one with a transition and all of our accordion blocks open and don't close after another has been opened, which is fine, but not what I want. But rest assured, for both of these parameters, we don't have to go into every single accordion block and waste precious time. First, we can remove the transition we had set on the first accordion, since we won't be needing it anymore. Selecting our accordion's block, in the settings panel, we can set a transition duration. Then, for our accordion blocks to be linked so that, just like doors, when one opens the other closes, we can simply toggle linked and add a familiar group name. On a side note, the open toggle allows you to have your accordion open when the user loads the page. You can now probably start to see the advantages to containing accordion blocks in an accordion's block. And the great thing is, it doesn't limit your design, since if you decide that you want your accordion to be placed somewhere else on the page, you can still have it linked to all the other accordions by simply adding the group name that was added in the accordion's block settings tab. In our case, I simply need to add the hippo group name, et voila. It responds to the different changes set in the settings tab. Before we move on to responsiveness, it can be useful to know that the accordion reacts to the URL changes, which means that whenever you link to the idea of an accordion block, it will automatically open that accordion. It can be used either as a link or as a trigger which means a link in a page that doesn't force a refresh. So if I add a button block and link it by adding an accordion's block ID, When clicked on, it opens the desired accordion. Conversely, you can link to it directly from your search bar by adding a hash to the accordion's ID. Last but not least, the accordion block is of course responsive, meaning on different screen sizes, the appearance of the accordion block can be modified suitably. As with any other quickly block, 
The accordion is no different when it comes to responsiveness. Whether on tablet or mobile, you can make your accordion look appropriate by adjusting your font size, padding, sizing and so on. Lastly, accordion blocks can be used in a dynamic setting for both queries, repeaters, taxonomy terms by displaying dynamic data in both the accordion head and content, which can be great to display dynamic data in a dynamic way. Here I have already set up my dynamic data with ACF Pro for a repeater block. ACF which stands for Advanced Custom Fields, is a tool you can use to quickly set up dynamic elements. If I simply copy slash duplicate the first accordion block we built together and place it in the repeater, then replace the head and contents data to the dynamic one I've already set up, It displays the dynamic data as intended. Let's check this out on the front end. As you can see, the accordion works perfectly well in a dynamic setting. And since the accordion is getting repeated, whatever settings I choose to set in the settings tab, it naturally gets repeated to the other blocks. So if I choose a one second transition duration and toggle the linked property and add the hippo group name we've been using all along this video, on the front end, it works perfectly well. As a final side note, our accordion blocks are accessible and we try to keep them with all the latest specifications. And that's how we play the Quickly Accordion.